Hi guys, today I am making a tiny house in The Sims. I've been pretty obsessed with tiny homes lately. Something about the small space, even though you don't have a lot of space, just seems so cozy and homey. They're just so cute. I don't know if I could live in one, but fortunately my Sims can. So today we are going to design and decorate a tiny home for my Sims. And I'm super excited to see how it turns out. I don't have that much experience with The Sims, so hopefully this turns out good. Let's go see what I come up with. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, this is the plot that we're working with. Luckily, we don't need a lot of space because well it's a tiny house we could go off to this side because what i'm planning is i have my tiny home here and then i have like some animals and space for animals on this side how big are tiny houses oh, wow that's pretty small right is that considered a tiny house maybe i want to challenge myself more let's go smaller i don't want to want this to be a challenge all right all right how does this look pretty tiny right this is all the space that we're gonna work with so let's get some walls and i do have kind of a vision i noticed a pattern in few tiny homes okay this will be our tiny house and then i want another level and then it will be this and we'll have like a balcony on top for a tiny house this is actually not that tiny should we downsize even more Maybe we downsize even more. Okay, this is actually so cute. Okay, we'll have a front door here. <gasps> There's so many cute door options. I love this green one. Green is my- <gasps> Wait, that's like perfect. Green is my favorite color, so I think we're gonna go with that. And let's actually get the outside of the house looking like a house. Oh my god. Oh, this is so difficult. And I'm pretty new to Sims, so maybe starting with the tiny house is actually the way to go because everything is super simple, very simple shapes, and it's not overly complicated. Look at this. Perfect. Maybe a few more windows and it'll be good. So let's get into the inside. All right, this is what we have for the first floor interior. I want to keep it very open concept, so the only room we have here is the bathroom. I want to keep the kitchen, living room, and dining room all in the same area. So let's see how this goes. But before we do that, let's start with the only room in the house, the bathroom. Um, I guess this will be easy. I mean, there's only so much you need in a bathroom, right? We could do this shower. Wait, it takes up half of the room already okay how about we do one of these showers so it only takes up the corner i like this shower it kind of fits well into this corner here wait this is so hard i might have to make the bathroom bigger i need to fit a toilet and a sink in here okay i changed up the shape of the bathroom it gives us an interesting shape to work with so let's see what we could do with this okay i'm thinking the shower here okay so i have the shower on this side and then the toilet here and then i'm thinking putting of putting this cute little sink right here look at that it's so cute it adds some color i could even change it oh i like this one okay that's cute let's put that there oh and look at our bathroom it's not homey enough yet um let's get a small rug oh <gasps> cute oh, wait this one's kind of cute i like the yellow and what we could do is we could size it down so it fits perfectly oh wait why is this object locked Apparently that item was locked because you have to reach a certain level and like a skill or something to unlock it and use it, so I couldn't use it. Um, how about like blue? Blue is a nice color. That fits nicely in our bathroom. It gives it a little bit more life. Let's see what kind of mirrors we could add. <gasps> this one is cute! <gasps> wait, this one's so cute. I love the wood. We could put that right there. Oh wait, no. It doesn't really line up with the sink. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, I kind of like this one. I just really like the idea of cabinets because we're in a tiny house. We're going to need all the storage that we could get. I really like this bathroom is not cluttered enough yet. So let's place a shelf here and then we could add some more things on the shelf to give this bathroom a little bit more personality. This is our bathroom. I think it's pretty cute. Very simple, but I like it. Let's move on to the rest of the house. Okay, I have a vision for our kitchen. I love these cabinets. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh, okay, we have to have these in our kitchen. Okay, that is cute. That space in between the cabinet and the wall, though, is kind of annoying. So I think that is better. Yeah. Okay, we have our sink right here. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Having this tiny kitchen is so challenging though. I don't have enough space for a stove. Where do I put a stove? I could have a toaster oven. Honestly, this no space oven is looking very appealing right now, but let's see what else we could do. Actually, if we move the door to that side, the bathroom still works and we could fit our stove here. So we don't have to resort to a toaster oven. We're doing good with the space that we have. I think my sim will really enjoy some tea. There's our teapot there. 
And I'm just gonna decorate some more. I'm gonna go crazy with decoration. Having a tiny house, you're gonna have some clutter. I'm gonna put a plant on top of the fridge because we need some more green in this space. There you go. Look at this. I really love the accent colors of the green and the red. I think it pairs up pretty nice together. That fits so cute on the side of the sink there, those roses. Okay, that's good. Oh, we need a trash can, don't we? Um, what's a nice, cute, simple trash can? This is the most simple, smallest one, I think, that'll work. I don't even have space for the trash can! Um, oh, okay. I guess we will have it. I literally started that sentence and then never finished it. I never put that trash can down and there's no trash can in this house. My vision here is having this kind of bar area where our sims can sit and eat at. It's not an official like dining room area, but our sims can, I think, will enjoy it. This is cute. Look at our little bar area. These stools are so cute. Wait, these are perfect. Okay, okay. And you know what we're missing? More plants. So this is the downstairs of our tiny house so far. I'm really liking the open concept. The bathroom placement is a little bit awkward, but I think our sim will manage fine. I do want to add a little accent chair I think would be nice. Just a place for our sim to relax and chill when they are downstairs. I could put that right there and our sim can chill out. Oh, that's so cute. But throughout the entire house, I want to have these little succulent terrarium lights. Those are so cute. So I'm going to add those here and in the kitchen. Oh, maybe not right above the stove. Right there is good. Just to tie in everything, I want to use one of the new rugs from the packs that we have. I think this one would be so cute. It is so big though. Let's try to size it down and see if it would fit nicely. Oh, okay. Yes, I think right in this entryway. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, the colors tie in the couch and the bar area pretty nicely, I think. Okay, let's move on upstairs. Okay, obviously we're going to need a bed up here. This kind of loft style room doesn't give me a lot of space to work with, so we'll see what we could come up with. Look, they have a green swatch. It's okay, we still have a lot of space. I want to put a TV up here, so since my sim doesn't actually have a TV downstairs, just a plain TV. Probably, yeah, on the wall is nice like that. And so I could still add a lot of things on top of the dresser to decorate. I think my favorite part about the bedroom is just this window. It is so cute and it, and it just adds more texture to the room because the walls are pretty bare on, on this side of the house. But this window just adds so much. Okay, what else does a bedroom even need? I want to add a bench right at the foot of my bed. So when my sim is getting ready, she can sit down there. And look, this swatch actually matches my bed so nicely, the green and the green. That's perfect, and there's still so much room. And to further show that this is where my sim puts on her shoes, I'll put shoes right there. That is so cute! Definitely am needing some more clutter in this area, because my sim? Not the most organized person, probably. Let's say we have some books lying around on the floor. I definitely read books on the floor. Probably not great for my posture, but I'm gonna put some books on the floor anyways. Alright, I've decorated a bit, and this place is looking a lot more lived in. I actually want to add a little bit more to decorate this window area. I can kind of imagine that my sim would decorate this space with some plants and some books. So let's put these in here. Oh, cute. Okay, this is already looking a little bit better, but there's even more that I could add. Looking at this room, it looks like my sim really likes to read. And of course, I'm gonna have to use more of these lights. Okay, I love this! I think this is perfect. This is a great amount of decoration that keeps it simple and also makes it look very lived in and cozy and homey, which is exactly what I was going for. Now let's move on to the outside balcony area. I want to have a cute little seating area so my sim can sit out here and eat, maybe, and enjoy the view, watch um, the animals walk by. Yeah, I really like these cute tables. Oh, there's so many cute options, I don't know what to choose. All of these tables are so cute. I like this, I definitely want a round one. Um, this one is super cute. And the green kind of goes with the whole theme of the house. Okay, I think I will put it right here. And then we could put some cute chairs. I could have one chair facing that way, and then one right here. Okay, this is super cute. Our sim has a nice area to hang out out here, but it is missing something. More plans. Of course, I added these on top of the door and the window to add some green, but no, it's not enough. We need more plants. So let's get a cute small plant in here. Oh, I think this potted plant would be cute. Okay, let's put this here. Oh, yes, look at this. Very cute. 
I think this is so pretty. Okay, look at this so far. So cute. Okay, but the outside is definitely lacking. We need a little path leading to our cute house. Okay, a little path like this is cute. Let me fix that. I'm going to add some bushes out here. Okay, and for some more texture, we could add this hedge right there. I think even layering the plants would be good. Okay, I added a little bit more plants on the outside, and I think this made a huge difference. It makes the house just look a lot less flat. Maybe except for this side. I think this side needs a lot more. Let's actually take this hedge and move it to this side because I think this side needs it way more. Definitely more. Oh, and actually I saw something earlier that I think can help. Some plants here, like as if they're growing underneath that window and kind of hanging off. Oh, this is perfect. So yeah, it's been a while since anyone has tended to the plants, but it's okay because it actually gives some nice color to the house. I actually really like how our tiny house turned out. This is so cute. I'm obsessed. And with that, I think we're done with our house. It turned out so cute. I'm really excited to play in this world with my sim. Let me give you a quick tour of the house. Here's what you'll see walking into my house. And a closer look at the kitchen and bar area. Here's the bathroom, which may be shaped weird, but I think it turned out cute. And then heading upstairs into our loft bedroom area. This nice cozy bedroom is perfect for my sim to relax and read a book. And heading outside, we have our nice balcony area where our sims can enjoy the view. And that concludes the tour. That would be the finished house. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I've been playing in it for a little bit and I just love it. And I think my sim loves it too. So this is my first time doing one of these style videos and my first time like making a sims video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really had fun with this and I'll see you guys in the next video.